Hi, YouTube. Thank you for being here, my new subscriber and everybody else that's either been here forever or joined me recently. I appreciate you. It's, you know, it's, you're the reason I'm doing this <laughs> for the people that, that can connect on that level. Um, I'm going to tell you the story of my first marriage really quick. Um, for those that suffer from narcissist abuse and the connection that we have with these people or had with these people and how to bring yourself hope through the day when you've given your all in a relationship and you were hurt that bad, how do we recover? How do we go on? Now, some of us know that keeping busy and keeping a positive attitude of hope. Hope is the biggest word. Get up and look at the sunshine. Or even like today, a cloudy day. And I'm grateful my plants are going to be watered. I think I won't have to go out and do any watering. The good Lord's going to take care of that for me today. So I'm hoping. <laughs> but okay. Um. I met the father of my children when we were 17 years old. I just, or I had just recently, let me see, I met him in April. So, yeah, I had been 18 for two months. So we were both relatively young. He's six months older than I am. And we were together for about five and a half years and never had any children. I was not supposed to have children. I wasn't able to have children is what they told me because of the damages that I had suffered when I was young. Well, we prayed and the day before Christmas, our son, was, our first son was born. We have two sons. Well, excuse me a second. Uh -huh. I get emotional. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> I've remarried since, and I had a, a brief marriage before that that I had gotten annulled that I was married when I was still a child, but or too childish, I should put it. Well, it was brutal. So it was the second one, and it got worse when... Uh, Drugs and alcohol were introduced into the situation and um, trying to raise a family by myself wasn't an easy thing because of that. And um, the brutality that was passed on to my children and the um, oh, the depths of the evil within an uh, incestuous family. Um, something that I really barely lived through. I, I, my, my world rose and set on this person. Um, even before we were married, we had broken up and got back together. He came back to Minnesota from Montana to get back with me. I won't say that was my biggest mistake. I used to say that. But it's not like that in my heart. I had wished that it had worked out. I think um, anybody that's ever had a close relationship like that with people, we do feel the loss. It's like a death. Um, it's something that at times was either very beautiful or very traumatic either way. But it left its impact. And I did not think that I was going to live through it. And I could say if it wasn't for my children, I wouldn't be here. But that wouldn't be quite accurate. It's more if it wasn't for God, I wouldn't be here. Um, I, I'm over it now. In fact, when I kicked him out, I was over it, but it didn't take the pain away. It didn't take the the loss or the wanting 
or just the feeling that such a love, such a deep love could be denied by another human being. And on that scale, it makes you wonder, will these souls of those people ever be redeemed? Um, was it an entire loss that we shared our lives with these people? Could they ever come to God? Maybe not in this lifetime. Um, I really, I really think like that. Maybe we're instilling feelings of their own personal hell that they'll have to, they'll have to deal with their own karma, if not in this lifetime, in the next one for them. Maybe that living in the flesh, um, that they desire and work upon and roll upon. That's how they roll. That's like their spirituality is lacking. I, I think you get what I'm trying to say here. It, it's not something that goes away inside of us. It's a sickness that remains with us. But God really can help us through all these turmoils and a lot of people would turn away from God or blame him when everybody has free will and he hasn't done anything. A lot of people blame God or a lot of people will blame the churches that taught them maybe the wrong ways. Um, if, if you have a disdain for a certain church that you went to or how you were raised, Perhaps it was the minister and the delivery of the whole thing that turned you off. The religion itself, not the spirit of God that works through people that won't offend. Or if they do offend, it would be in a way that maybe the offense that you took that you could work through, that you see something different in now that maybe you didn't years ago. I'm going through that right now, and I'll be talking more on that, um, my journey back to, I won't say the total study of mysticism or the Kabbalah, but, uh, but uh, opening a door for a big majority of the people on the world that are, are believing more in spirituality than the spirit of the Holy Ghost of Christ himself. It's easier for people, like I say, to say, well, the universe will do this for me instead of God. It's so it's easier for them to use a language that is disconnected from our creator. That, that bothers me. It really does. Because I've learned my lesson who helps me spiritually and who doesn't. And it took a lot of, lot of, yeah, well, I won't say it took a lot for me to do that because there's never been a moment in my life that I haven't felt the presence of God in my life. And I do believe that stems from being an orphan and being abused as a two week old child. Um, I, I do believe that spiritually I, I had a helping hand in that guidance because I was that lonely and lacked such guidance. Not in the eyes of the world. In the eyes of the world, I lived in a perfect home with perfect adopted parents in the perfect church and perfect this, that, whatever. You know, it, we weren't entirely rich, but we weren't poor. And we all worked very hard to make that world go around. But I had a little extra something in there that even the people that raised me or the adopted brother that I was around, they didn't have that spirituality connection. But they could see that I had it. That, that 
ensued more torture from people that weren't living up to their own expectations in life. And then they'd take it out on me if I was trying in an area that they weren't. And they'd recognize it and they'd trash me for it. You know, I started running away when I was five. I completed the journey when I was about 12. But in between 12 and 17, well, especially 15, but I got emancipated by the state. I divorced the Masons. I literally took them to court and proved the abuse. But I had to have a job and an apartment before I could follow through with that. So I did. But in between 12 and 15, I had ran away 21 times. I made it to Florida with just a quarter in a paper bag with my jean jacket and swimsuit and I met some kids, this girl and this boy, their, her um, parent, her mother owned a restaurant and they let me stay there for a little while. I ended up getting busted on my way back. I was going kind of west and I ended up in Alabama and I ended up getting busted. Well, let me see. Um, in Georgia. Atlanta. So um, it was a long journey. They called my adoptive parents and they, my dad flew down to get me and the tension between us was incredible. It was at that time that him, he was Jesuit Mason, three time over Grand Pass Master with Shriner and Jesuit rights. So this isn't somebody that's like stupid or ignorant of any kind of spirituality. Him and his friend Paul Peabody that I believe is also dead now like my past master father <laughs> um, started teaching me the Jesuit ways and the hidden documents and scriptures that have been kept from the public schematics on um, psycho or particle physics and psychoanalysis and, um, you name it you name it psychology um, everything it, the, the the teachings in the libraries then that I had access to I had no clue at 15, why they started teaching me this or why I was writing in the book of Gematria. And um, there's some very strange things that questions that they asked me that's in the original written documents of that book before it was tampered with. That that's my signature alone for these times and the people that are connected with that book totally recognize my writing in that book. But at that time, I didn't understand why I was even writing in it. Had no connection to the Masons at all. Didn't want anything to do with them, but started getting trained in these weird ways that I, I had no understanding of at the time. So um, that is kind of a brief history or pretty in-depth either way you look at it of what I'm doing out here and why I'm doing it is I've always had that love in my heart for other people. And I believe it's my mission to bring people together with no religion involved, but, but the faith and the hope of our creator, regardless of any institute that wants to call themselves anything. So, well, I don't know 
what else is going on today? I've had some really weird nights this last week or so. I've been like overheated and some people when they're about 50 or 60 go through menopause. I had had a tubal ligation when I was 34, not wanting any more children when Doug and I got together. We had ours and we wanted to raise. He had a daughter, I had two sons. We both had been cheated on and trashed according to his story and I know my own of course, but we decided not to have any children together to take care of the ones that we already had put on this planet that needed extra care that another child wasn't going to replace or make any better as our union, if you, if you see what I'm saying. I, I came to that decision that that really would not help matters. In fact, it would probably hurt it far more for our children that were already on this planet. So. Okay, I might be back. I, I just wanted to give you a little bit of a brief history if you didn't know, and that's that's very brief, but that's that's some of it. So all right everybody, I appreciate you joining me. Um have a really beautiful day or night wherever you're at, and I'll talk to you soon. Peace and love from Pine City, Minnesota, USA. Have a good night or day wherever you're at.